Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents Me, Deborah, with kind of a glance through at a book that I got at Dollar Tree a little bit ago, um, and it's for pots to knit and crochet. I thought this was an interesting one. The fact that I got it at Dollar Tree means it's a buck, y'all. I love a bargain. I love a dollar something. The original price on this was in British pounds nine pounds 99 um so yeah this is definitely a bargain for us over here and this was published in 2011 so it's not the newest book but it was brand new when i got it right there are a lot of cute things in here and yes some of them are knit some of them are crochet and the crochet is in uk terms but if when you're doing it you want to go through and just highlight where it says you know to do uk teams you can remember oh yeah a double crochet is our single you know, a treble crochet is our double. You can get used to it. It's not that big of a thing. I don't know about knitting. I don't know if there's any different terminology in knitting because knitting is magic. Yep. Um, but there are a lot of really cool in the back of the book. There's abbreviations about how, you know, which, how they do it throughout the book with the patterns. It gives you um, conversion charts for crochet hooks, UK metric and US. And there's about the author in the back there. It tells you how to do some of the stitches. There's also a little bit of Tunisian crochet in there, like a little kind of a basic how-to. It tells you how to do um, circular crochet and spiral and also wired crochet, which means crocheting around a wire. I'm not kidding. And that's apparently useful with one of the pots that's in this book. I did see some of it. Some of how to do the stitches and what they're called, the half treble, the treble, yeah, we can get that. Knitting, the knitting stuff, there's a lot of knitting in here because knitting is magic. Um, tells you about tension and substituting yarn and following patterns. But y'all, look at some of the cute things that are in this book. This is a pencil pot and you make the toppers for your pens and pencils to look like flowers. Y'all. That is so stinking cute, right? Um, this one is, it says delightfully higgledy-piggledy, a word that I've heard from Lisa Ladybird Loves. This beaded box provides a cheery home for little beads or other small items. Plastic canvas provides a soft and pliable structure while freestyle beading and a little loop handle adorn the lid. Look at that. That is so cute. Now, that does look like it's knitted, but you know what? I bet the uh, clever among us could figure out how to do a crochet version of that. There was some more that, oh, wow. The only plant I can keep alive, one that I don't have to. Look at this. Wouldn't this be a sweet gift for somebody, especially in a different color? This is called the Tiny Treasures Pot. And it's actually quite small. Um, you put it around uh, a tin can. And it, earlier in the book, I know it does mention about making sure the can doesn't have any sharp edges and blah, 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 because, you know, safety, hello. Um, but the finished pot is about six inches tall. I think it's weird that they have the standard measurements in here. They also have the metric, but six inches tall, which is 15 centimeters. We are going to get our USCNs here used to that. Uh, and four inches or 10 centimeters in diameter at the highest and widest points, including the lids. So it's kind of little, but it's very, very cute. I'm trying to find some, I saw one. Oh, this is clever. Look at this pebble dish. You go, pebble dish? What does it have to do with pots and stuff? Some of the bigger pebbles actually open up to hold things and so one of the things here is like put your spare key in one you have it sitting on your front porch you know as, as decor because oh it's a little pebble dish right it beats sticking the key under the mat i'm guessing but yeah that's cute this here though this just totally got me um let me see Oh, it is crochet. It's not knit, it is crochet. Look at this. For your pens and pencils, and then you stick these on your pens and or pencils. And you've got a bunch of flowers. That is just 
so cute. There are a lot of really cute projects in this book. Um, there's even a way to cover your waste paper basket. I'm not going that far, especially since that is knit. But, uh, dude, no. I put a bag in my waste paper basket. As it says, something called a penny pot. A knitting needle pot, which of course is knitted, but there you go. And I like this one too. They call it the crochet hook pot, but this is the one they showed on that other page as well. I just, I really like that. I like the way it kind of looks sort of diagonal and slanted with the little bubbles. I guess they're little shell stitches, but they're using DK yarn for it. So yeah, it's the puff stitch pattern is what they're saying it is. The welcome home, home sweet home, be it a cottage in Cornwall, a bungalow in Brighton, a mansion in Minnesota, or an apartment in Arizona. This pot makes an ideal housewarming gift and has space inside for a spare house key, it says. Okay, that's cute. I could actually see instead of using it for a spare house key, making it for a kid and letting them play because they can open up their little house and it has a room inside, you know. An entire desk set. I don't like the colors that they used. They're using two strands of DK together for that. I would go bright and cheery instead of dark and gloomy. Work is gloomy enough. Pardon me while I pause for the cat. Yes, the feline assistance has arrived. See, there he is. He insisted on being a part of whatever it is that I'm doing because whatever it is that I'm doing is apparently interesting. And now he's standing on my laptop. And now he's lying on the laptop with it open. Just don't buy anything, will you? Okay. Let's see if there's any more really cute ones. I really like this too because I like bright and colorful and cheery. They're calling this a crayon bucket. Yeah, that's very cute. They call it a crayon bucket, but they have colored pencils in it instead of crayons. Why? The button pot. And that is to put buttons in, they say. I mean, I guess you don't have to use it for buttons. You could use it for whatever you want. Baby buds. Oh, I guess to hold your uh, cotton swabs or whatever you call the Q-tips. I mean, it's like, it's like Kleenex, you know, they've just become the brand name. That is knitted though. This is adorable. It's crocheted. Tis a piggy bank. Oh my gosh. You can crochet your own piggy bank that will actually hold coins. The cartoon toadstool. So they don't get sued by the folks with the toadstool. And that's in DK and it's crocheted on a three millimeter crochet hook as well. A little basket oh, actually a little set of baskets there you go pardon me for the shaking but Oscar has decided that he must be part of everything that I do isn't that right Oscar he's literally below my phone I record with my phone the sunset vase which just looks like a knitted tube to me I think if you had like a knitting machine you could whip that out and like 12 seconds flat. I don't have one. I know it's not that fast, but you know. A hanging basket that's knitted. Oh, this is what you need the wire crochet for. The loop handled pot. Look at that. That looks cool and crazy and just very Halloween-y to me. I know it doesn't say that. And this is made with standard parcel string. I've, yeah, I guess you can crochet with that stuff. I think it'd be kind of hard on the hands though. What is this one? The red apple. A red apple which opens up so you can hold stuff inside. The entire theme of the book is that all of these things hold things inside. And just about all of these are done it with DK yarn or DK yarn hold together with another DK yarn. This one is done in chunky. It's called the bangle bowl. I guess you hold a bangle bracelet in this bowl. 
clean and tidy this says. Hide away your cleaning products. You know, if you hide your cleaning products away, your hubby will never find them and never understand that cleaning has to be done. Ask me how I know. Stripey bowl. The little picture actually shows the stripiness a little bit better. The bigger one just mostly shows you what they've got in the bowl, a bunch of uh, fruit. That is crochet as well. I thought that was a knitted one. Nope, it is crochet. This one is knitting needle. It's called the terracotta herb pot or herb pot, depending on your pronunciation. That's quite nice. And yes, I'm going backwards through the book, just how I felt like doing it. In the table of contents, they have some pictures with the page number next to them of where you can find them. And the names of the things with page numbers next to them as well. Here's another pic, uh, page from the table of contents. So a lot of little items in here that are kind of cute. Uh, look like some of them might be fun to make. I have not tried to follow any of the patterns. I don't know how well they're written. Um, but for a buck, if nothing else, I can get some ideas of how to do stuff and what to do with stuff. So, yeah, I'm glad I bought it. Would I pay uh, 10 pounds or the equivalent for it? Probably not because I'm cheap. But I buy books all the time at Dollar Tree. I get some books at Abe Books, which you can get used books from there. So, yeah, it's always fun to go looking for books. You never know what you're going to find. Thanks for walking through a book with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something you might want to make out of there. But this right here, that pencil, oh God, that just gets me. I love it. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Maybe if I did that, nobody would steal my pens. Maybe. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I'd love it if you hit that like button before you left. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, Come back soon. See y'all.